A Virginia woman is celebrating a real life Christmas miracle. After buying an inexpensive vase at Goodwill, she later found out that that vase <laughs> It was worth six figures. Crazy. Jessica Vincent bought this vase right here in the photo for $3.99. Her curiosity led her to research the colorful item, contact glass experts, put it up for sale at an auction house. That decision scored her a jackpot transaction. Let's bring in Jessica to tell us more, her side of the story about her lucky shopping experience. Jessica, it's so good to have you. Thank you for taking the time to be with us on Morning in America. Well, thank you for having me. So you went Goodwill hunting and you struck gold. Set the scene for us. You know, you're perusing the thrift store. You see this vase. Honestly, we were talking. I think a lot of us would see this and would have blown right past it a thousand times. How did you know that this was special? I think a lot of people did blow by it that day. There were a lot of people in the aisles. Um, I didn't know it was special initially. Um, it wasn't until I got a close look. And as soon as I got close to it, I could see that it was blown. I could see that it had a beautiful iridescence to it. Mm -hmm. And I knew that it was coming home with me. You knew right then. Do you have a background in art or glasswork or sculpture or anything of the sort? I have a very big appreciation for art. My mother is an art teacher or was an art teacher. She's retired, but I grew up sort of loving art and antiques. And I just think I've trained my eye to beautiful things. Yeah. Clearly I have taste. Yes, <laughs> very expensive taste. I, I understand you've gone thrifting for a long time. It's one of your joys. Uh, when did you learn about its origin, its significance? And when did you really start to realize when you were getting feedback from folks online, you know, on, on Facebook and also experts that you had a treasure chest on your hands? Yeah, um, one person commented online when he told me, I, I wasn't sure who the designer was at the time. And he said, this is a Carlo Scarpa, this is a Penelate. They are so rare. You never see them outside of museums wow. or like a, a collection, very high end private collection. He was like, I would never be able to afford one, but it's spectacular. And he said, you should send this to Wright Auction House and have it evaluated. Um, they're experts in Italian glass. So that's exactly what I did. Um, Richard Wright, the CEO sort of, emailed me right away and he said, where did you get that? And I said, well, I don't have a great provenance. I just picked it up at a thrift store. Yeah. And he yeah. Said, are so rare. He said, can I call you? And I knew when he wanted to call me that he meant business fun. and this was for, for real. My last question to you, we have just about a minute left. So you purchased this vase for $399. It sells at auction for $107,000. What went when, through your head when you learned what your return on investment would be and how are you going to spend the money? Uh, I was floored. It was like a winning lottery ticket. I never thought something like this would happen to me. It was incredible. And I'm going to put heat in my very old farmhouse that I bought <laughs> a year ago and I've been freezing with two space heaters. Uh. So... I'm excited. Yeah, it'll be a whole barn transformation. I know you said you wanted to get this face back into the art world, that you felt you had saved it from obscurity, but that also in a way this vase uh, had saved you and all, all you'll be able to do with it from here on out. Uh, Jessica Vincent, congratulations. Thank you. Please send some tips our way for those of us who uh, want to find some similar finds and, and some good luck and fortune just like you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.